When we first started building the catio, it was literally just a cube with chicken wire, fencing it in, no shelves. And then, I don't know, I kind of started to see how much he was using it and how much he enjoyed being outside. So I just, every weekend in the summer, I would kind of be like, okay, we're gonna add in a shelf here and a shelf here. And then I started adding in plants and, and then it, like became an obsession. I just, every time I'd see something, I'd be like, man, that would look really good in the catio. So this is my cat, Jake. He will be six years old in May. He was raised with three large dogs. He truly believes he's a dog. And I don't even really think he knew what a cat was until we brought Juno home. Juno, is the sweetest little kitty I've ever met in my entire life. He was born with a genetic heart condition. They told us when he was diagnosed that he probably wouldn't see his first birthday and he just turned two and a half. From day one that they met, they hit it off. They've been best buddies. Juno brought out a whole different like playful side in Jake that I had never seen before. When Jake was about a year and a half old, I noticed door dashing. Every single time we'd let the dogs out in the backyard, he'd try to dash out the door every chance that he got. Um, he got outside a couple of times, and one of the times he went missing for four days. I was devastated. I wrote notes to all my neighbors. And then sure enough, one day, two o'clock in the morning, he's on the front porch. And I was like, well, clearly he wants to explore outside a little bit. So maybe if we give him a catio, it'll help out. So for his second birthday, we decided we just finished building a fence in our backyard and we had a bunch of leftover wood and stuff. And we decided we were gonna make him a catio. And from that day on, We've had no problems with door dashing. Every time he wants to go outside, he goes to the window and just sits there and meows to go out. Um, yeah, and that's that's the story of the catio. I, it's the best thing I've ever done for him. <laughs> when I first built it, I had my swing bridge. My swing bridge was Jake's favorite thing. And I noticed he was on it a lot, but the way that it was on my house, it was shaded. And I know he liked the sun a lot. So I, I moved the swing bridge and I watched a whole bunch of videos online and um, for do it yourself, how to make the little railings on it. And I made that for him and I switched it to a sunny spot. And that's probably both of the boys favorite spots by far is the swing bridge. They sleep on it together in under the sun, basically all summer. If you're thinking of making a catio, first of all, don't rush it. Like have fun, enjoy the experience, document it because there's a lot of people online that really, really love seeing everything. Observe your cats, watch what kind of things they like and just go from there. For the first two summers, it was just like a cube basically. And then last summer we just finished, we expanded it, we made it twice the size, we put a full roof on it so they could go out more seasonally. Um, I put a whole bunch of new things, I made them a little pond for in it. Um, we had little robot fish swimming around in there for them to play with, they just, they love it. I spend a lot of time out there too, it's like my little oasis with them. I get home from work and I get a drink and I go outside and sit in the catio with the boys. <laughs>